Welcome to my video series on getting into different types of flying on a budget. I'm covering everything in this series from the super cheap to the expensive. So no matter your budget, there's a way to get into flying and live that childhood dream of being a pilot. Check out my Facebook group for further flying and cost saving discussions. This video is about helicopters. Helicopters, what is it? Well, it's a spinny thing capable of vertical takeoff and landing and capable of draining your bank account. Like fixed wing aircraft, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and prices. The blades on the top produce the thrust, allowing for vertical takeoff, hovering, and forward, back, and side to side momentum. They are harder to fly than fixed wing aircraft, requiring lots of practice to get good with balance and all the axes of movement. Training in the UK and Europe will need a minimum of 45 hours to get a PPL H. If you have an aircraft pilot's license, you can convert with five hours and a cross country flight, but I bet it takes you a bit longer to get used to it. In the USA, you'll need 40 hours practical and 35 hours of ground schooling. For costs, well, to get a basic license, the training in the USA is gonna cost around 17,000 US dollars and in the UK, it'd be about 15,000 pound. However, it could be quite a bit more if it takes you longer to get the hang of it. It costs about $300 per hour for lessons, and I think that's kind of similar in the UK as well. Then there's the instrument rating, commercial, ATP ratings, etc. if you want to get those as well. Helicopters are notoriously expensive. You can get a used one for around 100 to 200,000 US dollars, but the prices will go into the millions. Maintenance is very high with helicopters, many major parts having a finite lifespan, meaning you have to replace them when they've done a certain amount of hours. This can make it very expensive to fly per hour because you need to factor in the lifespan of the components. Other components need compulsory inspections at certain intervals as well. Consider helicopters if you have a large budget. For safety, well, helicopters are known for accidents partly because many high profile celebrities and VIPs have died in helicopter accidents over the years. This is partly due to the rich and famous making use of them to go from place to place. Should the engine cut out at low level, the pilot has very little time to get the blades into auto rotation and to pick a spot to land. Also, the helicopter may not have much time to get into a glide. The crash rate for helicopters is 9.84 per 100,000 hours, which is about 35% more accidents than fixed wing aircraft. However, the fatality rate is 1.3 deaths per 100,000 flight hours, which compared to 1.4 deaths per 100,000 flight hours for single engine aircraft is actually a little bit better, so slightly less deaths. Okay, I'll stop there. You could also consider RC planes, drones, parachuting, wing shoots, parasending, and simulation. Simulation is actually a great way to get better at your flying and to save costs. I'll make a video on that as well very soon. I'm hoping I've inspired you to consider getting into flying if you thought that it was maybe unachievable before. Life's too short not to do the hobbies that we want to do. We should strive to do what we love. Hopefully I've helped you to make that first step on a fulfilling journey. And if I have, please let me know in the comments because I'd really like to hear that. Keep an eye out for my other videos on this topic. I'm going to make more videos to try and help you to learn how to go from, I don't know how to get into flying to getting your pilot's license and getting you on the journey and to save money whilst you're doing it. As a pilot myself and a Yorkshireman, I know a thing or two about managing the costs. Have a look here for my next video.